How is it that you actually communicate like a boss on Zoom? Hi guys, my name is Deepak Shukla, founder at the Pearl Lemon Group. We are a sales training and development company based in the UK, USA, as well as serving clients worldwide. And if you need any support with your communication and training, whether internally or with your clients, please do get in touch. And here today in day number 30, let me see if I can write it out. There you go. It's terrible, but it worked. Here today in day number 34, we're here to talk about how to communicate like a boss on Zoom. But before we get into it, feel free to click the link in the description below to get access to the seven additional strategies that we will not be sharing in this training. And they are powerful as hell. So please do go out and get them. So look, um, this is something you're all going to be doing, communicating like a boss. So it's super important that you do so when it goes, when you come on to any Zoom and video call. And really, to be honest with you, it's about bringing together a lot of the things that we've spoken about, okay? The articulation, the projection of voice, the framing of where you are when you're on a call to make sure that you're central, to make sure that you stay within the frame, to make sure that you, other things that are important when it comes to communicating like a boss that we've not covered. So, 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 so look, at layer one, I would say, if you're going through each of the videos and you have been taking down notes of the practical ways to make this a reality, you should have a really good understanding by now of how it is that you can actually communicate like a boss on Zoom. So that's just the first thing to point out that you should have about you know 30 strategies for video and Zoom communication. I want to talk about some other things because the tunnel just kept, get, keeps getting deeper and deeper and deeper about other things also that we've not really discussed and uncovered. So the first thing is address everyone in the room, okay? So if you go onto a call with more than one person, say, hey Richard, how's it going? Hey Frank, good to, good to meet you for the first time. You're the um, head of content, right? Is that, is, that, is that right, Frank? Oh, amazing, amazing. Um, so, ah, oh, and I see we've got a new person. Hey George, how's it going, George? Uh, I'm Deepak, uh, I'm your contact point here at the Pearl Lemon Group. Um, just, 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 yeah, really excited to meet everybody from your team, actually, and just, just kind of know who I'm going to be working with. How, 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 how is it actually to, to that end on a day-to-day -day point that we, we'd all be working together, um, Melanie, if you don't mind me asking? Do you see there, guys, that already I'm addressing everyone in the room, I'm saying hellos and building effectively rapport instantly, and then I'm turning it into a question so that does some really interesting things all in one swoop addressing everyone in the room shows respect to everybody and shows that you're used to working with the team this is for when there's a team that you turn up to talk to saying hellos to everybody having a tiny little bit of chat between everybody so that element of building rapport uh, once you've said your hellos and then Finishing up with a question as to, oh, okay, so how will we be working together? Or, you know, to that end, I've got a question. And, and you don't always need to do number three, okay? Because if you want to allow some time for rapport. So once you move away from rapport into the, 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 the meat and potatoes of a call, it's, it's difficult to wind it back. Uh, it's certainly challenging, at least. So you want to be mindful of your use of three. But when you're going on to communicate like a boss, then that can set the frame that, hey, I know what I'm doing and this is what I'm here to do. And that often comes through asking questions um, rather than, for example, initially setting an agenda. Um, but certainly, certainly you can also do that as a means of communicating like a boss. So I want to clarify when I say communicating like a boss, I don't mean like a boss like I'm in charge of you. I don't mean like a boss like a tyrannical dictator. I mean like someone who's experienced, who's clearly good at doing this, and someone who you would put your faith into being able to lead a meeting. And, 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 and that's what we're really trying to do here when it comes to calls such as that. And there's a couple of other things to that end that really demonstrate ultimately boss-like levels of communication. So where there's an opportunity for a screen share, do it, okay? There's something that's really powerful when it comes to screen shares that not everybody makes use of, that it demonstrates that you can reveal what's behind the curtain. It demonstrates, and this is of course where there's an opportunity to show them something that's 
relevant to the campaign. And we, we, I, I mean, even in a way irrelevant, as long as you can make it relevant to the phone call. So in the small talk section, which you could have either at the beginning and or at the end or even in the middle, you could have a quick aside, much like when you do water cooler talk or you go off on a slight tangent before you reel it back in. You can share your screen and you can show a funny GIF or you can show a share a funny picture or just have a small anecdote. And we'll, 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 we'll talk about the telling of stories and storytelling as something that's probably more advanced for our advanced training because um, then we're getting into the real ninja stuff. But screen sharing is, is definitely something that you can do when you want to demonstrate. It does, it does, it does a, 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 a number of things. And one of them, which doesn't have to come with a screen share, but really helps, is a demonstration of technical expertise and competence. And that's what also people always look for, especially when you're meeting people for the first time, because this is where it can relate, as, as well as just on any ongoing meetings. Uh, if you can, and I've spelled demonstration wrong, but if you can demonstrate in some way your technical expertise and confidence, they'll know that not only have they got a communicator, a good communicator in the room, but communication is also delivered through a practical means where it's not words that your, are your weapons, it's the way that you use and even navigate your screen. So one of the things that I'll sometimes do when I'm doing a screen share is I'll quickly open tabs, I'll type something quickly, and I'll just show a little bit of, if you will, swordsmanship in terms of the way that I swish around a screen to demonstrate that, okay, wow, this guy must be an expert because look at this, he's drawing arrows on the screen and he's talking about these items here. And this is, you know, super important because it's a demonstration of some of his techno te technical expertise and competence. And whilst they have nothing to do or they <clears throat> or, or do they, and this is a trick, while they seemingly have nothing to do with communication, they have everything to do with communication because it's a demonstration of, oh, and let's just wipe that part out of there. It's a demonstration of his, Zoom, go in, zoom back out. It's a demonstration of his, and here's the irony of uh, expertise, okay? Demonstration of expertise, and, 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 and that's what people will pay for, if you will. People will feel that they're getting their money's worth in terms of their engagement with you. So um, that's, or these are the, <clears throat> the six new ways, and there's more, there's, 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 there's much, much more, but these are, the new ways at least to incorporate into communicating like a boss on Zoom. And you, you really want to get the additional strategies now, if I'm being honest, because uh, this is just the first layer of some of the things that you can do when it comes to top level communication. So if you're enjoying these videos, please do subscribe and please do comment with um, any of your key takeaways from this video. Thank you.